Let's switch the game to English because it's going to confuse my brain. All right. So the spider cocoon is just behind my head. Uh, the rock as well. Okay. So. So in my deck, there's a cemetery. Cemetery uh, gives me a fragment of memory and uh, rocks and some pebbles. Uh, but it spawns a skeleton every three days. The village heals me and gives me a quest. So that's really important uh, if I want to to get some healing. Uh, the grove uh, gives me wood but spawns a rat wolf. Uh, and it works with the blood grove. The wheat field works with the village. Uh, that's okay. The meadow, yes, of course. The outpost. Spawns an assistant on the adja adjacent tiles. All yellow and orange items dropped in the in the battle will be spent as payment for his work. Hmm. So the outpost might be interesting with the thief because uh, the thief is not looting anything during the battles. Well, at the end of the battle because everything goes to its uh, pouch. So instead of the ancestral crypt, maybe I can use the outpost, okay, with fantastic sound effect. <laughs> the desert um, lowers lowers every creature's HP by 0.5%, but your hero as well, your hero's HP as well. I don't really know just now how to use it. Let's let's try it this way. Yes, you're both fantastic. Okay, right right from the start. I'm just being assaulted by a, a slime. Alright. So now I have some some armor and it actually maxes out my HP. So that's great. A thicket. <laughs> so the blood grove I need uh, I need a grove to first. So, once again, I'm not controlling, I don't control the little guy's movements, and I don't control the battles. All I can control is uh, the building of the world, the rebuilding of the world, and the, the equipment management. That's it. Here is the outpost. So, soldiers from this outpost are always glad to help a traveler. Not for free, though. Spoons an assistant on the agents and tiles. All yellow and orange items dropped in the battle will be spent as payment for his work. Hmm. So, shall I put it? Ah, okay, it's just a cross. It's not like the the. The blood grove uh, working all around is just like this, so it's not as efficient. Here, if I if I put it here, it would work on the on the boss. The boss is going to pop on the cozy camp tile. So if I put it here, that's going to be efficient. So maybe I can put it there instead, or even here. Yeah, let's put it here. Okay, they really like this this jingle. Let's put the cemetery close to the outpost. There we go. Okay, so one loop. 
completed and so now we can use the loot that we have uh, acquired. Okay, there was no skeleton here for now, but we got a memory fragment and a pebble. every day a few a few HP oh another outpost okay why not This feels like Gloomhaven meets Dominion meets Diablo meets the Game Boy Advance. Sounds is fine, great. All right. So yeah, it's just a mix of a lot of things, and it makes something original. That's that's why this game is is incredible. It's relaxing, but at the same at the same time you have a lot to manage. So you don't feel like you're doing a lot, but at the same time you need to focus quite a lot actually. It's just they could have improved the the character's uh, sprite. All right. So this lantern here, the road lantern, um, reduces the the number of of monsters that pop on adjacent adjacent tiles. All right. Maybe I can put it here. Where do I want things to? Pop up less often. Maybe here, actually, because there will be things. Ah, a village. So the village, I think I'll go. I'm going to put it here, and so the wheat, wheat field here, and another one there, and so the outpost will help me deal with scarecrows. Ten thickets and forest tiles, so there's a village. <coughs> ah, a grove. So the grove, I'm going to put it here actually because of the of the lantern, and to put the blood grove here. And there's a beacon. The beacon. Yes, I'm going to put it there. The best language. Yeah, but I need. I'm a bit rusty, you know. That's also why uh, I think it's important for me to stream in English sometimes because um, I'm losing practice. That's not good since. One of my two jobs <laughs> requires to speak English and to teach English. Elite slime. Need more Yorkshire. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Wheat field. Another outpost. Outposts everywhere. Okay. where to put it. Could put it here. Yeah. Why not? Could put it there. Hmm. Or even here. Or just slap it. Yeah, just in case. If we <laughs> if we ever reach the boss. Ah, so that's why you <laughs> watched Moulin Rouge, <laughs> wasn't it? Thank you, you love that. 
didn't you? <laughs> that film, yeah. Yeah, I... I don't have much appreciation for Moulin Rouge either. I'm sorry for uh, anybody who would love this film, but yeah. It, it was an experience, definitely. Exactly. It's just not the, the kind of experience I was expecting, let's say. Level up. Marauder, fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. Well, not really good. So there. Plus 0 0.5 times loop HP for an adjacent roadside tile while passing a tile. Uh, loop HP for an adjacent roadside tile while passing a tile. Mm -hmm. And lethal weakness, every 10% of lost HP gives you a 0.5% chance to instantly deal a thousand percent damage. Yes, we yeah, are not really good things. Well, let's, let's try the lethal weakness. Maybe I will create some subtitles for my videos uh, in English or in French, so... Um, in English for my videos in French, but also in French for uh, people with medical conditions or uh, hearing impairment, and same for my videos in English, but I, I, I don't know really how to do it for now and how to synchronize it, but I, um, I'll try to do it as something I want to do, uh, just that I'm learning everything from scratch, so learning how to to cut a video, how to to make a video, <laughs> how to stream, so one step at a time. It's tiring, I must say, and and cu uh, cutting videos takes a lot of time. More, <laughs> more and more because I'm learning new stuff uh, each time. So I want it to be more better and better. So. So it's quite time consuming, but it's also a lot of fun. And so the, my last YouTube video and so my last stream uh, last week about Sleeping Beauty um, from Charles Perrault was a project that I, I had been meaning to do uh, ever since university. So yeah, I'm really, really happy I can finally start this series of videos about uh, literary fairy tales. And so, yeah, I don't know if it's going to to really work, if people will be excited about it, or at least enjoy it. I'm pretty proud of, of this first one. And yes, it's something that's a bit important to me. It's, it's meaningful to me. It means a lot. Mm. Yeah, well, there will be some uh, fairy tales in English, because I, I do have uh, the, the Complete Grimm's Fairy Tales in English, translated by Professor Jack Zipes, and I have it also in French, so I'm probably going to, uh, to read them as well, but I think for, for the readings and for the videos they're only going to be on YouTube because it's not working on Twitch at all, uh, which is fine, but on YouTube I think there will be an audience. So I'm probably going to record, uh, to recreate original content just for YouTube to, to be able to really control more uh, the reading and maybe the analysis because it's, it was a bit embarrassing and, um, and sometimes I had to read again because uh, I would misread or something like that. When, whereas if I record beforehand, I can really control and cut whenever there's a problem. I can uh, read again to, to change the, uh, the intonation, etc. So, so I think I'm just going to record and create original content on YouTube and forget about it on Twitch. Uh, because nobody cares and because there's no point if there's no chats. I wanted 
first to read them live because I wanted an exchange with the chat. Yes, baby steps, exactly. But yeah, that's also the point of this channel, of both the Twitch channel and, and the YouTube channel. The point is to, um, to have some fun, to play games, uh, maybe to exchange stories and everything. And at the same time, that it's a pretext to, to get some trivia and to learn fun facts and to exchange. So not only myself teaching things or telling things, but also that the chat tells me about stuff, I, about anything. So that's the fun part. That, uh, that's the, the concept of my channels, basically. That's right there. Lots of wooden wires. Starting using potion there. That's good. I might want to erase the village. There you go. Because there's uh, there's a watchtower built in my village. Okay, new stuff, new things, exciting. Um, and here is just better than the axe, basically. And there's a spare. The spare is a little less... Makes little less damages, but... Counter and critical damage, yes. So I'm going to the... Going for the Qatar and the spear, I would say. So level 6, I had already looted it. Level 8, ooh, evasion bonus, 7%. Yeah, but that's a lot more HP, so okay, let's go for it. Because otherwise, you see, um, I'm on loop 7, and so the enemies are level 7. So if my stuff is below let's say level 6, it's not go going to be enough to survive. Eaten by the blood grove. Shall I... Shall I continue on to a new loop? That's the question. Because now there's a, there's a goblin camp, no! Let's see the weapons we've unlocked. A ritual sword, magic damage. Oh, a lot of damage, but less critical damage. That's a lot more damage. I think I'm going to to replace my stuff. Now this is a flesh golem. That's because of the of the blood grove. The blood grove eats enemy creatures below. 15% of HP, of total HP, but then it recreates from the corpses a flesh golem, and it's really tough, as you can see. Oh, so many goblins! Help me out, both. Another beacon. Outpost guy, you're dead. See, they are really annoying. Goblins are really annoying. So I think after this, after this loop, I'm going to to go back to the village. I'll go home. Level up. That's a lot of enemies. Yes, indeed. And so that that's why I I've been trying to to summon this the boss for the second or the second expedition. But it's so tough. <laughs> it's so hard. Okay, so let's see what the level up uh, gives us. So surveyor plus zero point five times loop HP for an adjacent roadside tile while passing a tile, okay? Smokescreen, after losing 20% of his max HP in battle, the hero will evade all attacks for two, for two seconds. Well, 
Master of Fencing, 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets. Okay. Well, there are lots of enemies, so let's take Master of Fencing. Okay, let's see, let's see. Is it worth it? Wow, it could get 21% more critical damage chance. It's tempting, but... Goblins! I still have five potions, though. Shall we try? One more do. <laughs> That's the problem with this with this game. You never know when to stop. But I could stop. Yeah, greed is good. <laughs> it can be, it can be. But I mean it's especially since I I've unlocked pretty good stuff. Okay, we have survived this loop. We still have five potions, and there's an armor level 13 with plus 17 <laughs> critical damage chance and critical damage increased by 23%. So now the game wants me to continue, basically. <laughs> it's just tempting me into lo more loops, basically. Okay, so first, let's take this armor. Let's continue. <laughs> yeah, the, the game this time really wants me to continue. Let's be greedy. I'm, I'm going to regret it again. But... But why not? We'll, we will have had fun. So now you see there are some gargoyles because of the, the treasuries. So I'm starting to lose HPs. That's not good, and we're at the beginning of the loop. We have used a healing potion. Okay, let's see. I think if we survive this one, I'm really going to stop. Sorry, outpost guy. Yeah, I'm stopping uh, after this loop. Two new outposts. Aha! Oblivion! On the goblin camp. All right. So yeah, the stuff is at most level 11. So, and I, I am not full uh, with the the healing potion. So I'm going to retreat. I'm keeping all the resources uh, I, I have acquired. I have accrued during this uh, expedition, and I have smoked ham. Uh, another thing of silverware and a minus pick. Let's retreat. That was a good expedition. 